What really do women want? I, I don't really understand. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sapphire Aglo. If you see me for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe. Click on the right side that says subscribe and the bell notification so you'll be the first to get notified whenever I make a new video. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Hey, as the title suggests, man, it's really getting messier and you guys already know who we are going to talk about in this video. Just, just James and his ex-girlfriend, oh, sorry, not ex-girlfriend, his ex-wife, Lily Peters. Seriously, this thing is getting messier as the day goes by, as the day unfolds. Lily and James are giving us too much information concerning their lives together, you know. So guys, as you know, so a few days ago, just James replied to Lily Petter's video that she did. And she, um, I think the title of that video was Abuse. You know, she talked about how James was abusing her, you know, when she was married to him, when she, they were still together, abused her and the kids and all that. So just James just replied. You, you know, the guy, that's what is good. And sometimes I believe it's really good for you to keep receipts of everything because you don't know when people will come out and want to twist stories on your head. Do you understand? And if you don't have all this receipts, all this evidence to back up your 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 words, you know, people might not believe you. Especially when it comes to this gender thing, you understand? People tend to believe women easier than they believe men. Do you understand? Because they feel that women are the weaker vessels, so everybody would always want to support the women. But I just like the fact that just James has receipts for everything, so it will be very hard for someone to uh, not to believe what just james is saying do you understand because if you're going to the court if you're going uh if you have a case in the court you know they they would in the law in the law in the law court you would they would always ask you for evidences before anything will be you know will be judged do you understand so that's exactly what just james is doing i like the fact that he has really really documented a lot of things that is that's right now is using against is using against um not that he's using against lily that he's using to buttress his point you know as he comes out to mix to make these videos for the whole world to see and then we're going to play i'm going to be playing just james video and then we are going to keep analyzing it together the way he was you know speaking in that video so there, there are a lot of things that we really need to know you know if you have been following them you really need to watch this video or listen to all those things that just james had to say and then you can now you know form an opinion about what is happening between these two um ex couples you know like the story is going so guys i'm just happy i'm just laughing at the same time because you know for him to have documented the role of you know um evidences it's it's a good thing on his own part do you understand and i like the fact that he's not quiet over the whole situation that is happening you understand he's not just lying low you know he's not just lying low anytime she makes a video it comes out and you know says you know his own part of the whole thing because now right now if you talk if you say now that uh it comes to say the right thing people will come after you but for now it comes out to give his own part and you know if you sit down and listen to it or watch the both um videos you would know because from my own perspective about women what i know about women if we were in the wrong if we were in the right rather we would you know blow trumpet we'll blow our we'll blow the trumpet for the whole world to know that we are in our right do you understand uh-huh but if we know that we're in the wrong Sometimes we don't come out to speak. We don't come out to say. Do you understand? We don't come out to say the things that we've done wrong in our relationships, marriages, and all that. You understand? So I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. But right now, without you know talking too much, let me just start. Um, I'll play just James' video. You know, we'll listen to what he had to say, and then we can like you know discuss about this whole thing. Yeah. So this is it. Towards the audience, I talk do this towards you because this is the only way you get to listen and i'm glad you started responding so it's so a couple things that i want to respond to on your other video you know you walking away and being called and you know filing for the divorce i want to say yes that is correct i want to remind you i am the one started talking about divorce back in 2018 this is because i've had enough of the youtube career our kids schedule. We gotta work as a team. If we can't work as a team, if it's only one person opinion that counts, then divorce. I was never. You guys heard what he said concerning the divorce aspect. You know, it's not even today that that divorce thing started. Do you understand? He said he was the first person to push for divorce. That was in 2018 when he told 
told her about the divorce thing do you understand and the way lily said it in her video as if she was the one that fight for divorce of of course she was the one that fight for divorce and then the divorce was granted uh which was last year you understand? but he said he was the first one that really asked for this divorce that was in 2018 you understand so this problem did not just start today it started a very long time ago do you understand but uh, according to what he said he said because he loves lily he, because he loves her he was giving her the time he was giving her the time to process everything you understand to come to um, understanding of what he wants as a family you know but she was doing it in her own way she was doing things in her own way you know he tried to compromise a lot because from what he said he tried to compromise a lot do you understand just to make the family work but lily just wanted to do her own things her own way do you understand so let's just move forward and listen to what he has to say I'm going to be the petitioner i knew what i signed up for and if we work as a team i was willing to compromise because my sacrifice was over i loved you and i knew what i signed up for but it wasn't working i couldn't you know live a fake life or pretend anymore so i said divorce was the issue 2020 i left you and that's the day it really down to you and freaked out that yes i am really serious i might really leave when that happened according to this text messages here like june 5th of 2020 <laughs> you guys just saw how this guy was bringing out bringing out receipts receipts you know it was just bringing out receipts look at all the receipts this guy was bringing out it was just bringing out, putting up receipts of everything that he was saying to back up when whatever story he's saying. You, Chris, your current boyfriend's wife, out your bisexuality. From reading the text messages, you are trying to get Chris number. So I think after that, you know, you got Chris number or you felt bad, you know, trying to cover up about your crush and Chris, having told Chris about it, when your eyes turned to Chris. Hmm. 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 She was even friends, according to what is James is saying now. Uh, Jay was even friends with uh, Chris's wife. Do you understand? They were exchanging uh, messages on the phone, you know, until Lily now went, you know. She he never knew that Lily had eyes for Chris, all those why. But that's one part, one major part that is wrong. A lot of people don't see things, uh, uh, a lot of people don't see that it was it was wrong or it is wrong of Lily to date. For me, that's that's my own opinion. You know, we are all giving our reaction and our opinion on this thing. For me, I feel Lily was wrong to date Chris. I said it for my previous video. It was, it's, it's a wrong move for Lily to have accepted to date Chris because you, you have to respect yourself. For me, I feel you have to respect yourself. They say, yeah, you can find love anywhere, but not with people that you've been friends with. Do you understand? You've been friends with the family. You understand you'll be friends with the family you'll be friends with the wife and then you ended up dating the husband I, I i really cannot understand why women do that do you understand so that's a no-no for me i said it in my previous video so let's just continue Sha. it's not about uh what i feel now it's about what james said in his video <laughs> and like you said oh you're gonna get back to me you know to hurt me to date somebody i knew if that was chris and it looks like it is i am not hurt <laughs> Forgive me that I'm laughing, but I really like I really like this guy. This guy is, is all hell of a guy. You know, he's, he's so mouthy. He's so he's so mouthy. Did you guys hear what he said? You know, if James is the if if Chris is the person that you want to use to hurt me, if that is the one that you want to use to hurt me, sorry, I'm not hot. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. I really like what he said about it. Let's just go on, guys. <laughs> I am happy for you and your man. So to think that I'm angry or spewing hate, you know, to try to ruin your YouTube career, I am not. The problems I've had with your YouTube career is back in the days, we live more on food stamp than the money you ever made for your YouTube career. Till about 2017, 2018, that's when you started making okay money. Money, money, money is always going to be an issue in marriages for people that really value money over their family do you understand some people do value money over their above their family which is a very wrong move do you understand it's, it's really a very wrong move because at the end of the day you know it's sometimes it leads to divorce do you understand it's the same um case now in one of these nigerian um celebrity that got married uh, you know her name is Kovadi. you understand she's having the same issue just like what james mentioned now that you know they were 
actually living on food, food stamp before that YouTube money started rolling in um, after 2018. Do you understand? That was what he said. They were living on food stamps. They were actually living on food stamps before money of YouTube started coming in. And he was working at that time. He said he was working at that time. Do you understand? So when the money started coming in, he wanted them to like set aside money, an account. Okay, they opened an account for their kids, which um, Lily was supposed to be putting money for these girls in that account, which she never did. He said she, he never, she never did that. Over 10 years that they were making money, you know, constantly. She never set aside money. He said it was, it was the $5 that he used in opening the account. Since then, that is still in those girls' accounts. You know, every father will be, even if he's a mother, you will be angry. Do you understand? Okay, well, what are they doing with all the money that they are getting from YouTube? What is she doing with all the money? You're using these girls, your kids, they're your children. You do whatever you want with them. But your husband, you guys have to come together as one because you are you're one since you got married you guys became one so you sh there should be an understanding do you understand you should be an understanding there should be a compromise in the way you guys do things you understand you have to agree in most of the things that you know both of you are doing do you understand so that's the only way i feel marriage can move forward you understand so let's just go ahead and listen to what he has to say to really start uplifting our life it was horrible it was poverty the comment section on our relationship our kids me it was horrible but you kept going because you thought you're the pioneer and also remember i mean in 2015 i had opened an account for yuri and the somi so that all their financial earnings on youtube because of all this distress that i or we went through and i felt like they would go through i opened that account but still have five dollars ten years later because you would not stash even a dollar back to that account. Do you remember how furious you were when you, when you learned about the saving account that I was stashing money from YouTube whenever I... Okay, in this place now, he is he's going to talk about that he actually opened, went ahead and opened an account for these girls separately on his own he went ahead opened an account for these guys and when lily petters found out that you know is stashing money in that account for these girls she got angry why would you get angry that he's being secretive he's not sharing things with her why would you expect him to tell you when you these are things that you were supposed to do on a normal basis normally you are the one that's supposed to do this because you're using those girls to make money and then he did it and you became so furious saying he's hiding things from you do you understand? That's that's what I see in what he's saying, you know. So let's just go on. Let's continue. <laughs> of the car every day. I had my kids to do homework when they're riding their school bus home or behind your car when you're taking them to dance and gymnastics. That's the norm. That's the kind of life my kids live. That's the kind mm -hmm. of life sometimes I get home, I go to bed, but my kids are not back from their dance and gymnastics. That's mm -hmm. the kind of life I do not want to live. I'm not being a soup. Yeah. Yeah. James was basically saying that he does not see his kids because they are so, so much involved with their gymnastic, gym, gym, gymnastics gym. Do you understand that gym activity? That's what he's saying. You know, that's like we said, they have to be compromised. You have to sit down and talk about things that you want for that will move the family forward. He said he, he spoke about this thing. So many times with Lily, he does not want his kids involved in gymnastics. Okay, it, now he's trying. It, it said he said it in a way that he said from the beginning, from what he said concerning that um, activities that these girls get involved in in school. He said it's not as if these girls from the onset really wanted to do those things. It's those things that Lily did not do as a kid that she wants her kids to get involved in. It's like she's portraying herself you know herself into those kids so she was the one that started forcing these kids to do this gymnastics thing because she knows that um with this gymnastic thing in america maybe in america you can get um scholarship you know she's just pushing them pushing them way above you know way beyond how these girls can go do you understand because she wants this is what she wants for them she doesn't even know if these children want what she's forcing them to want do you understand she showed from the onset that lily was the one that started pushing these kids to go into gymnastics and this is taking away um these students these children 
their life as kids. He wants his kids to go as kids. Do you understand? He wants his kids to be home at a certain time. That sometimes he comes back home and the kids are not there. He sleeps without seeing his kids. They have to eat in the car. Of course, nobody would want that. This is an African man. That's one thing that Lily is forgetting. This is an African man. He's not a white man. He's not um, a Westerner. Do you understand? So these are the compromises you people should have, you know, sat down. You should have listened to your husband as in, you know, because most of the things that James was saying or has been saying all through are things that, you know, every normal person will sit down and consider. I don't, I've not seen anything that James has done, you know, that I would lay, I would lay a blame on him. Because there's one time Lily talked about, in one of her videos, she talked about James leaving them. The way she said it, that James left them and went, relocated to Kenya. And then he came back and he said he didn't come back because of them. He came back because of his job. But in this video, I'm going to let you guys go further. Maybe you go on your own to see and then listen to it. You understand? Watch it to the end because I don't think I can play it because it's a very long video. Do you understand? She was talking about James, you know, leaving America, going back to Kenya without even considering that he has kids. But in this video, you're going to hear it when James said he did not, he left to Kenya and then he, he now felt that there's no way he's going to stay in Kenya and have shared custody with Lily, you know? So the best thing for him to do is to go back. So he basically left um, um, Kenya back to America because he considered his children. He went there, say he, he went back because he wants to be close with his children. He wants to have a part in the lives of his children. That was why he came back. He said it. And as he said every word, he's putting up, um, James is putting up, um, what is it called? Um, messages. Do you understand? As in the screenshot of messages. On the screen there that we can, that, you know, even though we cannot see it closely, you know, but we can see he's putting up there. It's not foolish to start putting up uh, screenshots of um, messages and all that. Do you understand? So this whole thing is, I, you know, like I said, I like the fact that it's coming out to talk. It's coming out to talk. Nobody should come and lie on my head. It's coming out to talk. I like it. I just like what it's doing. You understand? I don't care what anybody says. I like what it's doing. I always stand for the truth. I don't, I don't sugarcoat anything. I don't support people when they are wrong. You understand? I always support the truth. It's not because I like one person or people, some people might say because you don't like Lily or because you don't like James. That's why you're always talking again. No, I don't do that. What I do is I stand for the truth. I listen to people's videos. I listen to whatever I want to talk about. And I just give my own opinion, which I know that is, is, is true. You know, for me, my mind is satisfied that I didn't do a video condemning anybody that I know that is not supposed to be condemned or is not supposed to be talked down or supposed to bring out the fault of the people or to say, okay, this person didn't do well and all that. I will always say the truth. I stand for the truth. Do you understand? And if he can come out and just, you know, be able to like bring receipts of everything that's transpired between them, yeah, then I'll, I'll definitely be on James's side. Do you understand? Forget the fact that he's an African or anything. I would always be on his side because there are receipts to show for all these things that he was complaining about so guys i would just hold you if you haven't seen that video of james for you to just go over to his page and uh, you know watch the video and uh, and then you can form an opinion of whatever he's saying like i said from the onset you understand so i would just like to like say it out here we should allow men to talk just james speak your truth speak your truth because it's not all the time they give men the chance to talk do you understand we always feel because we are women we can use that as a weapon you know to like suppress men so speak your truth now you're speaking you're one of those men that can speak speak your truth it's the same thing that is happening to johnny depp everybody's beginning to see you know the whole picture now as things are of unfolding daily do you understand between J um debbie and um johnny depp and um amber so guys i would say um after you guys must have watched um just james's uh, video to the end yeah you can now give your own opinion like i said so I'm just going to stop this video now. It's getting too long. I am not part of the um, these um, people that are giving us this, you know, performing this show for us, you understand. We're just part of the reactors outside. So I shouldn't make my videos longer than, <laughs> than the usual video. So guys, yeah, I'm going to stop right now. And definitely we're going to come back if there's anything more to like, you know, share with you guys. So guys, just leave your thoughts down at the comment section. Let me know how you feel about this whole issue. And I'll definitely see you all on the next one. For now, it's stay tuned, um, stay blessed, and I'll see you all next time. Bye from me to you. Bye.